Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel, it's Belinda here. It is that time of the month where I am packing up the mail for my Patreon mail tier. And we're going to have a little look as I pack up one of the envelopes for November. So this is the envelope here that I am going with. Uh, very simply decorated this month with a paper serviette and a wee stamp on the back. So that's the envelope and we're going to just grab out things out of the pile and pop them in as we go. So here first up we have a just a beautiful illustration out of a New Zealand scenic book. So just chosen out a page for each envelope. We have a bit of origami paper which is this beautiful blue with white hearts. I thought that's super lovely. And in order to fit it in the envelope, I do need to fold it in half. So I do apologise for that. But if you're going to make origami with it, you might or might not, um, then you're going to need to fold it anyway. Or you could just tear it up and collage, um, use it as a backing piece for ephemera, whatever you like. Uh, speaking to the ones who are receiving the mail. Okay, next up, what am I going to put in next? We have a bit of stationery paper, which I find super fun. Whoops. Is this emoticon stationery paper with all the different emojis around the side. I just think that's really fun. And it's actually really thick paper. So a sheet of that goes in. Now, we have some of this paper napkin that I've decorated the envelope with. So this is a full napkin, full piece, which I've already taken the back off of. Beautiful tropical design there, bold, bright and beautiful. And again, to fit it in the envelope, I just need to give it a little bit of a fold. Ooh, and now I've got to hold my tongue in the right way to actually get it in there. Okay, we have a shaker pocket next. So just fun. Ever since I've made these, I've had them sitting on my desk, a whole bunch of them, and I just can't stop playing. They are so much fun just to, you know, shake around, listen to them, feel them, because they're quite actually quite sort of tactile as well, because you can feel the glitter, feel the sequins, and then the plastic is nice and smooth. So quite a fun tactile experience there. Here's a little art card, which this is the New Zealand Pahutakawa. And on the back, you can actually see that it's from a botanical calendar. So one of those in each envelope. A strip of stickers. These are New Zealand specific ones. Um, but in this case, they don't necessarily say New Zealand. Uh, we've got people jumping off a bridge into a river. We've got uh, wheelchair basketballers, a little ballerina there, uh, someone having a birthday, and then somebody sitting on a dock fishing. Just really cute circle stickers. So a strip of those in each envelope. Right, we have here a small, a short page, but I thought, you know, if you like me and you like putting different size papers in your journals, that you can still use this in a journal. So it's coffee dyed bit of paper with a wraparound pocket, and then the back has a flip out for extra space. So in the pocket, we have a train card, train ticket from uh, the UK. So my cousin spent three months traveling earlier this year and she bought all her travel tickets home with her for me. And so I'm sharing those around. There's a sheet of whole reinforcers, which I've colored in with various metallic markers really fun so there's mostly four of each color apart from purple which I've just done the one because I did that with gel pen and it's quite tedious with a gel pen um, whereas the others had bigger nibs the gel pen it was like okay I'm a bit over coloring with a gel pen um, so only two purple ones and then this is paper that I did a paint pour on uh, it's actually mopping up some of the leftover paint from a paint pour so there's a couple of tags, tag bases, so you can decorate those up. So that's in that pocket. 
And then on the other side, we have Monopoly. So we have a couple of property cards and one of each denomination of the Monopoly money just to have some fun with. So that's in that second pocket. So we'll pop that in. Oops, and try not to get it caught up on anything else. That's the, the tricky part sometimes. Okay. So there's a New Zealand Christmas card here, but it doesn't say Christmas. It says Happy, Happy, Happy. No, it doesn't. It says Happy Summer Holidays. And I thought, well, that can be used worldwide because whenever your summer is, uh, you can use that and a matching envelope. And we have an envelope which I've made from a calendar page. So you can see the calendar on the other side. Nice, good sized envelope to do with what you will. So that goes in there. A couple of book pages from an old book. Beautiful creamy paper. Uh, the book's called The Children's Hour. And it's a whole collection of stories and poems and bits and pieces. So there's a couple of book pages from that. And slide that in. There we go. Uh, there's a cool bit of this pearlescent or metallic. Uh, what colour would you say? Um, peach, ap apricot, probably more apricot in colour. Paper, very shiny, very pretty. So there's an A5 size piece of that going in. Oops, it's caught up on something. Oops. There we go. I got that in. There's a couple of stickers here. These are like label stickers, which I have um, coloured with ink and then printed on through my printer. These are fairly sticky, so shouldn't need added glue because they are a new sticker, not an old one. And we've got a little double corner pocket. I've decorated the bottom bit but haven't covered the top bit so you can decorate. So there's a pocket down here and then there's the pocket. Glue it on the page on these two sides and then there's a bigger pocket. So one of those. There is a page here out of an address uh, folio. It's got holes down the side because it's in a ring bound folio. So there's one of those, and then there's one of the dividers out of the folio as well. So it's got a cool little tab there, but you could just use the, the it's heavy paper. So you could use the paper for collage as a base for ephemera, or add it into a journal as a page or something. Up to your creativity. So that's in there. And then last but not least, we have a little packet here of small bits. I'm just going to open it up. So there is a random cat sticker. So each one will get a different cat sticker. There are some whale tail tabs that I've punched from that paint pour paper. And then on coffee dyed paper, well it's a printable, it's one of my printables, uh, I've stamped the months of the year. So there's January through to December. And I've cut them all out. So there's one, so there's 12, 12 months. So there's 12 little labels there. And that's what's in that wee baggie. And pop them all back in. And that slides in there. So this year, the Patreon mail is going out on Monday, the, what day is it? 18th, I think, 18th of November, normally would go out on the 15th, but 15th was a public holiday, so the post office was shut. Uh, so this will go out on Monday to my mail tier patrons. So if you're keen to join up to my Patreon, whether it's mail tier or one of the uh, lower tiers, do pop along to Patreon. The link is always in the description box below every video. Uh, I'd love to have you join me over there, but if you just want to enjoy looking to see what I include in the mail, then you're more than welcome to have a look, as we just did.
sometimes I say the most insane things. Because obviously you're watching, or you wouldn't hear me say that. So, yes. Anyway, let's move on before I make it, make it more of a fool of myself. Thanks for joining me, my friends. Take care, and I'll be back again with another video very, very soon. Bye for now.